hay plant gang right here just in the beginning of September uh, with this plant coming into full bloom. I'm watching the bees hit it. I'm watching uh, all sorts of pollinators come towards it. This is Allium tuberosum, the garlic chive. This can be used for culinary uh, reasons and grown for culinary, culinary reasons, uh, but it's also a beautiful addition to the ornamental landscape. So again, Allium tuberosum, the garlic chives. Uh, this is a bulbous plant. Uh, it's in the Amaryllidaceae family, native to southeastern Asia, hardy from zones three through nine, just getting about a foot and a half to two foot high, spreading out about two foot wide. Great in mixed plantings or in mass like this. Uh, you do need to be a little bit careful uh, with uh, the seeds of this plant. It can self-seed itself around just a little bit. Uh, and so you want to be careful with that. What I'll do in my home landscape is as it starts to form, its seeds. Sometimes I will remove those seeds if I don't want this plant to spread anymore. Uh, but really beautiful soft white color that comes about late in the season uh, that mixes well with purples and pinks and different colors in the landscape. Uh, the bloom stalks are also quite upright. Uh, this is an onion relative. If you were to smell the foliage, it does have a garlicky pungent aroma to it. Uh, but a beautiful, again, culinary reasons you can consume this plant, uh, but you also uh, should be using it as an ornamental plant uh, in the right situation, in particular full sun. So beautiful blooms, but also soft grayish blue, long strappy foliage. Uh, you got to come and appreciate this plant by picking a leaf off and smashing it in your hand and you will get a very distinct garlic aroma uh, as you crush the leaf of this plant. Uh, so uh, you want to plant this again in full sun. And, uh, it can naturalize, so uh, make sure you're aware of that. Uh, but also just mixed in with other plants, it can be quite attractive. Here is a landscape tip. Flowers must be deadheaded before setting seed or seedlings will sprout up throughout the garden.